What's up everyone, WRX Nate here and today I'm going to do a walk around on my 2014 Subaru WRX. So let's take a look. So I have the Subaru WRX 2014 and WRB Blue. Um, let's start with the front of the car. So the front, the first thing I have is the Grim Speed um, license plate relocation kit along with the Grim Speed license plate delete. Um, right above that you can see the Hella horns, um, all wired via the Subi Mods wiring harness. Um, on top of that, I've the badge overlay, uh, carbon fiber in the blue. Looks amazing. Um, this has been on the car for over a year. Still no real, sh real um, show of any wear on it. So still perfectly fine. Other than that, for those of you that watch my WX versus the snow video, Here's a little update on the bumper crack that happened. So, well my plan is this summer to put a lip underneath, get that lined up and put a lip underneath, so hopefully that will fix it. Uh, let's continue around the car. So, get, did get my summer tires on this weekend. So, these are the stock Dunlops 235-45. Uh, the wheels are Enki Tengen, I believe. Um, wheels, 17 inch wheels. I do love the way these look. Um, I did put on the new Muteki black lug nuts, so those fit great. Um, those did have, before that I had silver Gorilla lug nuts. Um, the locks were identical on those though. But these are my summer tires. As you can tell from autocross, especially on the edges, there is a bit of wear. So for autocross I'll be looking for new tires um, before the season really and also new uh, coilovers. I'm currently talking to Subi Mods about testing out some coilovers, so hopefully we'll get that soon too. Over a little bit, I got the black Subaru WRX Limited Edition uh, overlays. So these are from Subaru. These aren't plastic dipped or vinyl wrapped or anything like that. Otherwise, nothing else on the side really. I uh, do have my YouTube handle via um, Rumble. Chris from Rumble made these for me, so thanks, shout out to him for that. On the back, I do not have taillight overlays in yet. Um, I do have these. I've had them probably about as long as I've owned the car. I'm just a little hesitant to put them on by myself, but that will be a goal for me this summer, is to get rid of this clear. Um, I did just get the red here and over, um, so those should be getting on. The one other sticker I have, the Rumble Family sticker, which I love, love the look of that. Also from Rumble, um, I did get the taillight overlay, or the tailgate overlay, emblem overlay, carbon fiber and blue back here as well. As far as exhaust back here, I have just the SPT catback exhaust. Um, got it when I bought the car over here. As we go around, uh, another YouTube handle overlay. Otherwise, the same as that. All right, let's take a look inside the car. All right, let's take a look inside the car. Let's flip this around for you guys. So let's see what we got here. This is pretty much what's always in my cup holder. Tire pressure gauge, um, both for normal use, autocross use. Oakley bag. Mount for camera, um, for my Sony camera. Microfiber and some gum. Um, as far as the interior, I have this Subaru JDM Impreza overlay, carbon fiber in red. Um, once again, holding up great. Actually, after I installed it, someone asked me the first time I came out with it um, if I got a new steering wheel, so that was nice. Um, I'm not the best at overlay and things like that. Part of the reason why I'm hesitant about the taillight overlay, but it did turn out pretty well. Uh, my other major thing um, you probably saw from the video is the pinstriping that I did. So starting from there, working its way around. It's just something a little bit different um, to go with the red stitching on the interior. Um, now I do wish that Subaru would have given people the option as far as what stitching they would want because I probably would have gone with blue to match the outside of the car. Um, but either way, I do like it breaks it up a little bit. It is a little GTI-ish, I know. Um, that's one of the comments I got 
Uh, but I still like it, it's still a little different, and still, you know, not just the bland interior of a WRX. Otherwise, I have the V3 access port. Love this thing. Um, mounted with just the little, the normal um, Cobb access port mount. Um, for those of you that didn't see my broken access port video, which is one of the first videos I did, this mount did give way, and you can kind of see there's still some wiggle and give to it. Um, so it fell, cracked the screen. Cobb, being the great customer service that they have, replaced it free of cost. I mean, I sent it back to them, they fixed it, sent it back to me. I think they overnighted it back to me, um, which is great. Otherwise, as far as the other interior, obviously still using the Mishimoto Rockstar Special Edition um, shift knob. Do like it. It is. It did take a little getting used to, um, but it does feel good. Uh, it does shift well, and it definitely is a lot heavier than the Cobb one. Um, for the interior, the only other thing I really got in here, um, just the charger for my Galaxy. Um, I know there's a lot of complaints about the Subaru, the stock head unit, which I still have. Um, but for me, I listen to Pandora 99% of the time. So for me, I guess no real difference. I just plug this in. The car's already set to play Pandora right away anyways. Um, as far as this, this is just a Cobra Whistler XTR 130. I'm pretty sure this is one of the bottom of the line brands that they have. Um, this was more or less a gay gift for my wife one year for Christmas. Given my driving record before I had my WRX, uh, was not that great. Since I've had my WRX though, my driving record is perfectly clean. Otherwise up here, hey look at that, is a Broadway rear view mirror. Let's see if I can get you a view of the back side of it. So pretty much it just clips onto the back. Um, pretty much helps with my sight lines behind and also seeing the kids behind me. All right, let's move to the back seat. All right, don't mind the dirtiness. I do have two kids that are back here all the time. So for my oldest, I, we have a Recaro in red car seat. Uh, love this thing. It is fairly big. As you can see, this is where my seat ends. So what is that? That much difference. So you might be able to tell a little dirtiness at the back of this because my three-year-old son's feet stay here almost constantly um, but hey it's comes with having a kid I guess uh, the other side uh, some books for my kids otherwise a Britex drop-in um, car seat base for my uh, soon to be one year old uh, but yeah love that car seat as well um, also same issue with the fitment so if I have a taller passenger with my daughter there it is very uncomfortable for them because the car seat can go back the car the car seat can go back a little bit, but not that far, because once uh, the little car seat is in, it kind of restricts going back there. Let's look at the trunk now. Yeah, so here's my catch-all. So I don't know if you guys noticed, the front and the back seats, I do have the Subaru all-weather floor mats. Um, my one recommendation to anyone uh, when they buy a new car is get at least these, if not WeatherTech, right away like the day you pick it up and do not use the fabric ones for my time working at car dealership being able to trade in a car like this with unused floor mats is a lot more available to the car dealership because it makes the car look pretty much brand new right away again um all those back here auto glass cleaner multi-purpose cleaner uh leather cleaner i know this is all just general stuff you get at auto zone and whatnot um, but for me just for quick cleanups it's used. I always have a tarp in my back seat. Um, pretty much just in case I never know what I'm going to bring back here. If it's tires, parts, dirty things. Just another way to keep my car clean. Otherwise, just because it's Wisconsin, even though it's April, there's a good chance it could snow any day now. Um, so this is always in my back seat, along with a rag and some stuff for my kids. Alright, let's look underneath the hood. Alright, my engine bay needs a cleaning. But as far as under the hood, Got the Cobb in blue air filter. Love that thing. It definitely changes the sound of the car. Um, if you do get this though, you are going to need the access port or to get a custom tune. Um, so make sure you do that. Otherwise, there's not much else really done that you can visible. Uh, the only thing that's kind of visible is this Grim Speed turbo heat shield. And that is because I have the NVIDIA catted downpipe installed as well. Um, so hopefully 
future things would be an air oil separator things like that all right and as far as tune guys i am running the torque performance stage two off the shelf map um, which for in my opinion is probably the best value for maps um, so pretty much you can get an off the shelf map run some data logs send it to eric at torque performance and he will customize it or fine tune it for you um, for your performance um, my other thing i'm going to be doing is getting a stage two map for autocross for him too to be legal in the STU class um, so that should be coming out also this summer um, but otherwise guys I hope you do like the video if you do like the video make sure to like comment subscribe and share and otherwise I will talk to you guys later peace